And with police brutality on trial in Minnesota, we're following a developing story closer to home tonight. An Army reservist says the Tampa Police Department caused him brain damage after they used excessive force. The 25-year-old claims an officer fired a rubber bullet, striking him in the back of the head during a protest in Tampa last year. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith digs into a newly filed lawsuit against the city of Tampa. Memory loss and constant migraines, the new reality for former Marine and Army reservist Jordan Corey. My whole entire life has changed. This after attending a Tampa protest May 31st last year. Corey describes the tense moments. He says an officer indiscriminately fired rubber bullets into the peaceful crowd at Curtis Hickson Park. I never expected it. You know, we're on the same team. We're like brothers, kind of. Like, and I have so many friends that are in the force and that, that are also in the Army as well. This lawsuit states Corey was trying to guide other protesters to safety when one of those rubber bullets hit the back of his head, piercing a small hole in his skull causing a severe brain injury. These are lethal, lethal weapons that could kill somebody. It, it, you know, he's lucky to be alive. His life has completely changed for, for something that never should have happened. The lawsuit accuses the unnamed officer of excessive force and states the city was negligent in failing to vet, train, supervise, and or direct its officers in how to handle a peaceful crowd in tumultuous times. It's hard to have faith in, a, in something like that when you're shot for no reason. This lawsuit seeks money for damages and Corey's medical treatment. Now, I did reach out to officials with both TPD and the city of Tampa. They tell me they cannot comment at this time as this is ongoing litigation. In Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.